Cross my heart, hope to die To my lover, I'd never lie Said be true, I swear I'll try In the end, it's him and I He's out his head, I'm on my mind Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing another makeup tutorial. I did this makeup look or look very similar in the last video that you guys saw, which was the full coverage foundation glam video. And you guys really liked the color and you guys liked the look, so I decided to go ahead and recreate it and do just a little bit of a different spin because the video that I filmed that day, I just wasn't feeling how it turned out. It just wasn't popping out to me. I mean, the color was popping, but it just... You know, I just had to recreate it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It is just a double wing liner with a little bit of this yellowy color in the inner corner. I just felt like this green and this golden color just looks so good together. So I decided to do this. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoy. I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, there's not going to be any foundation in this video. It's just going to be the eyes and the lips and a bunch of singing. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye. All right, you guys. So to get started, we are going to start by priming our lids. I am, of course, using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45 to prime. And I'm just using a large fluffy brush. And I like to use this just to cancel out any darkness. And then I'm going to use a Makeup Forever Pro HD Translucent Setting Powder just to set that with a E. At E50 Large Fluff Brush by Sigma. And now I'm just using the shade Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. Majority of the shades we're using today are from Makeup Geek. And I'm just using that with a Pretty Bar Big Fluffy Blending Brush to place that into the crease. And then we're going to tape Deep Roast, which is a Coastal Scents Hot Pot. I'm taking this with another Pretty Bar bl um, Brush. This is a little bit more similar to the E25. And I'm going to first pack that out into the outer corner and then start to blend this into the inner corner. So I build this color up and I don't show you all of how I build it up but I just continue to go over this shade until it's as dark and deep as I like and then we're going to take a little bit of black which is Corrupt by Makeup Geek. This is one of my favorite matte black eyeshadows to use. I'm just taking a Coastal Sits Pro Blending Fluff. This is a very similar to the E25. It's just a lot less expensive and I'm just applying that into the socket of the crease and I also build that shade up and right now you just see me going back in with that same brush and a little bit more of a deep roast just to blend out that black because you don't want your black to be very harsh. So after that, of course, I'm going to cut out my crease. I just like to do this. If you don't, you don't have to by all means. I see you guys saying like, I don't need to do a half cut crease in every video, but I personally feel like I do because when I don't, I feel like my eyeshadow just doesn't look as neat and as clean, especially with the foldy eyelids that I have. If you can see really closely to my eyelid, where the eyeliner is on the other eye, that is pretty much where my eye, eyelid space ends. So by bringing it up a little bit higher, I have a lot more lid space and a lot more surface area for that eyeshadow to show up. Right now I'm using the shade Epic from Makeup Geek. It's a foiled eyeshadow and it is so stunning. You guys know it's like a porous green, but it's not as deep. It's just so stunning. And then I'm going to use a, a matte black eyeliner, an eye cool pencil to tight line my upper lash line, and then I'm using a black liner. This is NYC's Black Liquid Eyeliner. This is just my favorite liner. I get it from Amazon. It just it's just the perfect eyeliner. <laughs> it dries down to a matte finish. So right now I'm just drawing an extended wing eyeliner. This is going to be my guideline for the next product that we go in with, which is a NYX Glam Liner Aqua Luxe, and it is in the shade 24 Carat. And I just go right over where I applied the black. And it's okay if you mess up and if you go a little bit lower than where the black is, that is perfectly fine. You just want to follow that same black line, the top line. And if you mess up, you just have to go back in with the black eyeliner like I do in a little bit. But just follow that line all the way across. And then here, I'm just taking a little bit more of that black eyeliner, just going over the edge to make sure it's nice and crisp and there isn't anything that's going to you know, fall down over the black liner. This is going to keep it clean. So we are going to move on to the <laughs> the lower lash line. I am using a, another Ico pencil. This is the same one by L'Oreal. And I'm just using that to smoke out the lower lash line. I just like to smoke it out. So I'm going to take Corrupt once again on another E15 flat definer brush. The E15 flat definer brush is so multi-dimensional or multi-use. You can just use it for so many different things. So right now I'm just using that to get really tight to the lower lash line and smoke that out. 
And then I'm going to use the shade Deep Roast by Coastal Scents to also blend that out and buff that all the way out. This is going to really blow it out and make it really, really, really blown. And then I'm just using a little bit more of that black just to go right close to the lower lash line. And then I'm just using a little bit of mascara. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. It's one of my favorite mascaras to use. It just really lengthens my lashes and there's a lot of product that comes out. So it just... It's not drying. <laughs> now I'm using a Coastal Scents Hot Pot. This is in the shade Seaside Bronze, just to place in the inner corner. It matched with my shirt and also the earring, so I thought it was a perfect pairing. And then now I'm using Joseph Colors Desi Katie Collection. This is called Over the Top, and it's just a just a natural kind of clear gloss, but it's got some golden reflex in it, so it tied in with the you know all of the gold that we had going on. So that completes my look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for all of my scene breaks. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye. And I don't do it for the gram, I do it for Compton And I'm willing to die for the shit, nigga I take your fucking lives for the shit, nigga